Hello and welcome back to our latest video. I'm Daniel and today I'm explaining how the electrostatic paint system works and why it can save you so much money in a busy paint shop. We have already previously done a video explaining the difference between airless, air assisted airless and electrostatic spraying. So this time I'm going to go more in depth and how it works and the cost saving benefits that can be associated with using this equipment. What is electrostatic painting? Put simply, it's a method of applying a coating to a substrate that uses positive and negative electrons so that the paint is attracted to the substrate and causes a lot less overspray than traditional spray painting. So how do you get the paint to become electrostatically charged? There is a power pack that sends an electric current through the nozzle and when the paint is moving through the tip it flows against the side and gains a negative charge. The substrate then needs to be attached to another power pack by another wire, clean earth cable, that gives the metal substrate a positive charge. This then causes the negative electrons in the paint to be attracted to the positive coatings in the substrate. As you can see in this video, the negatively charged paint is wrapping around this cylinder making the paint job much faster and so much more efficient than usual because more paint is attracted to the substrate and less paint becomes oversprayed. The overall paint usage is a lot less and so in turn the paint costs shrink dramatically. Although this system requires an upfront investment, the return on investment can be huge and swift we have seen it with our clients where the paint costs have been reduced by a whopping 20%. With another one of our clients, before investing in electrostatic equipment, they were painting one large steel structure in a single night shift. After purchasing the electrostatic spray system, the output increased to four structures in a whole night shift. You can only imagine the reduction in cost, but also the paint shop and production efficiencies that this company experienced. Another benefit besides cost saving is that the finish achieved will be much better looking because the paint is more evenly distributed across the surface and the finish is much more uniform. There are, however, a few precautions that you need to be wary of when using electrostatic spraying. One of the most common issues is for the paint to spray back and be attracted to the painter, the closest earth contact, and not the required substrate. To solve this issue, we recommend wearing gloves with a metal strip on the palm to ground the painter and eliminate spray back. Another problem is what is called the Faraday effect. This is when the painter is tasked with coating tight internal corners of channels, inside flanges, etc. As the paint is attracted to the nearest earth point, the paint doesn't actually reach the internal points. However, most of the new guns have the button on the rear of the gun to switch the electrostatic mode off for these awkward areas on structures. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.